Uh, somebody asked me a while ago, he said he'd, he'd buy a drink if I'd tell the, the golf game that we used to tell. I think it's Neil Timbers. And uh, so we might as well get it over with. I know we got some golfers up in the front there. Lee Seabrood up there, he's a golfer. And uh, he's up in front there. He's in the cheaper seats. I think it's called the bleachers up there. <laughs> but uh, how many golfers we got in here? We got any golfers? No. Got one, two golfers. Three. Uh, if you could take that camera and, and pan the audience, because you ain't got enough light there to pan the audience, because we want to really, we want this on tape now that you're claiming to be a golfer. Now, don't raise your hand if you can't golf. The guns a club. Well, you know, when we went to Florida, when we went to Florida, my wife wanted me to learn to play golf. I didn't know anything about the game, but I promised her I'd learn how to play golf. Get all the chit chat in here, knock off the chit. I promised her that I would learn how to play golf if she would send a golf instructor over to house to tell me about the game. So the golf instructor came over and the first thing he asked me says, have you got balls? <laughs> I said, yeah, but they're sort of hard, hard to find on cold mornings. <laughs> he said, bring them over to the clubhouse tomorrow afternoon and we'll tee off right there in front of the clubhouse. I said, you can tee off in front of the clubhouse if you want to, but I'm gonna get a, a, over behind a big uh, bush or a tree or something other. Up here it'd be behind a damn snow pile, wouldn't it? <laughs> well, he said, don't no, tease a little thing about the size of your little finger. I said, well, I got one of them. <laughs> he said, what you do is you stick your tea in the ground and you put your ball on your tee. I said, you mean you play this game sitting down? He said, no, you're standing up when you put your ball on your tee. Well, I thought that was stretching things a little bit, and I told him so. He says, if you got a bag. I told him I did. He said, your balls are in it? I said, of course. He said, you go up and take one out, can't you? I said, I suppose I could, but I ain't going to. He said, what's the matter? Ain't your bag got a zipper on it? I told him I had one of those old-fashioned kinds of zipper. Said, you take your club in both hands. Well, I knew right then he wasn't talking to me. He said, you bend over. I said, no, you ain't going to get me on that one either because I was in the Navy too long. He said, you swing your club back over your shoulder. I said, that's Jerry Francis you're talking about. That ain't me. Happy Le Pew here. He said, you hit your ball and it will soar and soar and soar. I said, yeah, I can imagine what if I was to hit it. Over to that first green. I said, well, what's a green? He said, that's where your hole's at. I said, you're right sure you ain't colorblind. <laughs> he says, then you take your putter. I said, well, what's a putter? He said, that's the smallest club made. I said, yeah, that's what I got. <laughs> he said, you put your ball in the hole. I said, you're right sure you don't mean you putter. <laughs> he said, no, you can't get your ball and putter in the same hole. <laughs> I was around Stoughton for a long time, I know better than that. <laughs> he says, and then we'll go on to our next 17 holes. I said, golf is 18 holes. He said, you can make 18 holes in one day, can't you? I said, Hoss, it takes me 18 days to make one hole. <laughs> I said, how do you know when you get to that 18th hole? He said, a red flag will go up. I said, yeah, that's just about my luck.
Thank you, good people.